Welcome back, Stoner Squad, and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperial Rome going for the Eumenes Footsteps Achievement as Cappadocia, where we must control Alexandria and Babylon. So, today we're going to pick up where we left off, and I do want to get a war going, preferably against Pathfragonia here. Now, I'm very tempted to wait until we have finished integrating the Cationian culture here, just so I can get access to a little bit more levies. I think that would be the right thing to do. Um, Pathfragonia are allied to Pontus and another small guy, so I think together they can be a pain, and so I'd rather wait and get a little bit of extra men. I can also see what Armenia does here. I think Armenia is going to keep them occupied for a little while. So uh, we might as well kind of let them fight it out together and then we can kind of march in afterwards once we get the extra levies. Um, what also I'd like to do is probably continue in the same vein in the kind of provinces where we have the governor policy here is now centralization. I want to change it to social mobility policy. Um, I don't have enough PR yet, so I can actually get rid of these tribals and promote them to the right corresponding categories. Because in order to get our tech up, what we do need to do is get rid of these damn tribals. And I have a lot of them, 134. They represent at least 24% of my population. So I want to get rid of them, turn them into citizens and nobles, and then hopefully increase this tech rate here, which is slowly going up if you do remember we did start at like five percent so we got it up like by 20 percent we'll get up a little bit more and for that we're going to need to um kind of promote the pops and get some more lives get some more academies get some more court of laws increase the overall number of citizens and nobles and research points and just kind of be incredibly techy um we do really need to like be in advance compared to everybody because i mean at the moment we are pretty much lagging behind i mean the salukas start off with level two tech um i think we start off with like zero or one. We start off with one. That's how bad it is. We start off with goddamn one. And by the way, can I replace you? You're awful. Oh, you're the best I've got. Wow. I don't necessarily have, like, brilliant people, do I? I mean, you're pretty decent. You've got nine, but it's only a little bit more than you, so... Yeah, God damn it. We have really bad researchers. But oh well, we need to get the research points up. So anyway, let's get rolling. Bim, bam, and bloody boom. So... We need more PI for some more idea slots, so I would like to get the last one so I can get the extra national slave output. It would be nice. We have a fair amount of slaves, like literally 38% of our pop stars goddamn slaves, so it would be nice to have the extra output. Uh, what do you want? Pamphylia, you want access? Why? I just want to know why you want access, buddy. Pamphylia, are you fighting someone? Pamphylia are fighting these guys. Yeah, why not? I'll let them fight it out. Not a problem. And I also want to take on these guys down south as well, but for that I need, like, literally more claims. I have a few claims on these southern sections. I think, like, the provinces or the region it's in is in my region, like, which is the region of, well, the region of Phrygia. Like, I own some of the region, not all of it. And I think I own some of the provinces as well here. I mean, do I own Lyconia here? Lyconia? I think I do. Yeah, I do. And I think... Oh, it's not actually part of it. This is a separate province. This is the province of Isoria. Interesting. I am going to want to take that as well. There's loads of stuff I want to do. Um, anyway, Cationian recruitment drive. So the right to join the military and defend Cappadocia through force of arms has long been a point of pride for our citizens. Now, with the increasing rights bestowed upon the Cationian people, calls are mounting that they should be allowed to serve in the military as well as a possible solution to our dwindling manpower reserves. Of course, this might well cause jealousy and resentment with our resistant soldiery, many who still view the Cationian as their old enemy. Um... Yeah, I'll bring him in. I'll lose a little bit of discipline, but it doesn't really matter. I gain a little bit of manpower, which is actually pretty cool, because I can get to my maximum nearly. Um, so we'll take that. I lose a bit of like overall culture happiness, but the culture freeman output goes up for the Cationian culture, which means we get more manpower back and stuff. And we do promote some slaves into freemen, so we might as well. It's um, good. I'm going to lose a little bit of tax, but not that much of a problem. We would gain a little bit more manpower out of this, so I'm quite happy for that. I'll definitely take it. Who do you, what do you want? You want access as well in your in your war? Are you fighting Pamphylia as well? Yeah, go on. Fight it out, buddies. I'll let you cross my lands and, like, kind of slug it out in the good old good old slog. Um, anyway, we've got a potential civil war here. I've got one guy that's really peed off. Is it you? I might have to bribe you. I might have to bribe this guy. Like I am. I'll bribe this one. No, I have another guy that's peed off, though. You and this guy. Are you dying? Well, you are dying. You're not dying, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit. I might have to bribe the other guy as well. This is going to cost me PI, which is really annoying. I didn't really want to spend it on that. I wanted to fill out my last slot. Um, by the way, is this dude, like, kind of scheming for the PI? I don't know if he is. What are you doing, buddy? You are influencing stakeholders. Fair enough. I hope we get, like, an overall event that gives us a big lump sum of PI. I want to take that. I mean, I really do. I wish we had that. I really wish we did. Where are we at now? It's... 
37%. Okay, nearly halfway there. Anyway, question of competence. After weeks of nervous looks and smirks at court, whispers circling the palace, have finally reached the ears of the basilisk. It seems Sun Wan has been spinning rumours and spinning yearns of his unequalled profligacy and unfitness for the throne. The damage has been done. Now all we look at how the basilisk will deal with the situation. Please lose a negative trait. What's a negative trait? Rule is probably a negative trait. Ugly is a negative trait, but I think that's kind of like natural. Um, uncaring, that's a negative trait. Would I lose uncaring? No, I lost popularity. God damn it. It's never the good stuff, is it? Never the good stuff. Never the good stuff. Anyway, this guy's got a little bit of power base. What about the other dude? You've got actually a fair amount of power base, but I am going to bribe this guy. Get you off my back. Okay, so that's stopped them peeing me off. Thank God for that. Uh, we're losing a little bit of stability, but not much. It is tied with the fact that we're integrating the culture and have like a little bit of aggressive expansion, but not much. But it's mainly tied to the fact that we're integrating a, another culture. Um, let's go for another omen. What do I want to go for? Provincial loyalty is quite nice. Pop assimilation speed, I think. We'll go for that. Pop assimilation speed, because it'll allow me to get a few more Macedonian pops. Now, I don't know exactly how many we have. I have only eight Macedonian pops. Hmm, that is very interesting indeed. I might actually... Kind of go towards the Grand Temples in tech and see if we can probably turn these Lycaonian Pops into Macedonian Pops. There's not that many of them. So it's kind of not worth keeping like that. So I think I can, I think I can definitely do this. These cities in this area here, like in this newly acquired section, and maybe even up in Paphlagonia, depending on how many like Prigian Pops are there, we'll probably turn it to Macedonian. If we can. But for that, I need to go for... Where's my religious advances here? We need to go down to the... No, it's not that. I know it's somewhere. What is it called? I think it's guaranteed something. Not that. It's not radiated citizenship. Is it granted manumission? No. Where is it? I need to look what it's called. I can't remember. I think it's granted something. Um, let's just have a quick look. This is, like, going to bug me. I need to find out what it is. Um, I need the... Do I, have the I don't have the tech for it, do I? No, I don't. So what does it say I need? Limited to one per territory. Okay. So why does it tell me what I need? I thought it was going to tell me what I needed. I need one... Do I have the actual tech for this? I doubt it. I don't have the tech for that, do I? Come on. I'm sure I don't. I know I don't have the tech for the Grand Temple. So there we go. Unlock the Grand Temple building. But what unlocks the... What unlocks the Grand, like, theatres? Not that. Not this. I'm, I'm sure it was guaranteed something. I'm, I'm pretty positive it was. I need to find this out. Maybe it will pop up if I type it. I don't know. No, it's not in this section. What about religious? God, I can't remember where it is. My mind's totally gone. I'm, I'm going to have to find this. It's really, really bugging me. Um, This unlocks something. I think this is like... A la when you have the little icon here, it allows you to build extra things. So... I've got to kind of find which one it is, not bread stamp. Not that. Not shorthand writing either. Maybe in the orgy section? I'm guessing. Census data, no. Not that stuff. Ah, there we go. Gradual economic integration. I knew it was something like... Not guaranteed, but I knew we guaranteed you. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with guaranteed. Okay, so we're going to need gradual economic integration. So we're going to have to, like, literally go all the way down here. And I want to get that, definitely. That is, like, so going to help us. Like, religion-wise, we're okay. I don't really need to, kind of, like, change anything. Because we are kind of cyberlean, so that is fine. Um, but, yeah, we need that. Okay, now I know what I need. I feel more comfortable. <laughs> I was thinking I couldn't let it go. I had to kind of find out what it was. It was driving me insane. Anyway, let's get back to business. So, I've got a little bit of gold. So, I reckon in the areas here where we've built stuff. Let's go for... Got quite a few things. I'll probably get an aqueduct in here, to be honest. I should probably fit one in. Yeah, I should probably get an aqueduct in each one. So, I'll get an aqueduct there, and I'll get one here next. 90 gold. Wow, that is, like, expensive, man. 
But I suppose aqueducts were expensive things to build, so it does kind of make sense. Um, so we'll get one in here as soon as I get the gold. I do make 8.5 per month, so it's not really that bad. You guys still fighting it out? Yeah, good. Keep slogging it out, but it's not a problem. Keep fighting, keep fighting. We're going to come and sweep in afterwards and take this whole province here, which I want for Cappadocia. Um, these guys still like me. Good. The Seleucids are kind of essential to our survival. We need to keep them on our side. The Seleucids as an enemy is going to pose a big problem. Um, I could probably fortify this area as well at some point. I think I should. Um, maybe fortify the main province capital here. And... Yeah, I think that is the best thing to do. I'll probably fortify this. I should get one. But I'm going to get the aqueduct first. I want to kind of fill out my... Oh, can I build it? Why can't I build it? Do I need to be like an extra water source or something? It cost me 90 gold to build. Why can't I build it? That is weird. Maybe... I don't know why I can't build an aqueduct. Do I need something? Do I need a prerequisite? I have no idea. Why can't I... Can, like, I can build one here. Okay, is it because it's on water? No, that's not even on any water. I mean, this is. It's like on a river. So, why can't I build that? If you guys know why I can't build one, please do let me know. I'll be very interested to kind of find out. I don't know if they've changed it, but it's very odd indeed. Uh, but anyway, we'll build a fort instead then. We might as well build a fort down here. We'll kind of block this off. Of course, it is the province capital, so now, of course, with the update, if you occupy a province capital, then you take the whole land if there's, like, the whole land in the province if there's no other forts. Um, so... It's pretty cool to have, like, kind of fought on your province capital. It does kind of lock things down quite nicely. Uh, Pontus is being eaten up by these guys. And I think I can take these guys on now. They have, like, 1,900 men there. That's pretty much peanuts. Um, we have... How many? I think they have, like, more. Quite a few more, actually. Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah, I have more men than that quite easily. I do have a claim on them, though. I do have a claim. So, it is very tempting probably could also get a fort up on this section to be honest it would help and i'm very tempted to build one up here as well um, just in case now the armenia's occupied everything here let's get ready i'll do this event then we'll get ready to strike i think i can do it without the other integrated pops i'm fairly confident we can anyway a hot-headed slave with a talent for oration by the name of cabernus has been stirring up his fellow bondsman in the city of petraea the local authorities have so far managed to keep the situation under control, but the brazen fall continues to hold forth on the corruption and unfairness of the political system. So what do I do with you? Get a bit of popularity, round you up and kill you. Province of Saravine gains slave movement crushed for 120 months, which gives me minus 12% slave happiness, and I get a bit of tyranny. I can divide the group and can deal with the leader, but I lose 15 PI. I can't afford to do that. Um, I can bring this Cabalis to court. I lose PI, but local pop happiness goes up, or what of it? Yeah, I'm going to round up the troublemaker. I can't afford to lose anything else, so... Oh, look, they've actually split up. They've got quite a few, actually. And that's Pontus. They've got 5,000 men. Yeah, it's, yeah, I need to get a little bit more friends. Oh, a little bit more men. Oh, I can bring in the Seleucids, though. I mean, I suppose I could bring in the Seleucid buddies. Um, they could definitely help me. Yeah, I think bringing in the Seleucids is going to be the fine option. We'll bring them in and help us out. I'm going to let these guys like slug it out a little bit here. How many men do I raise, by the way? Let's see how much they cost me. That's 6,000. Not bad. Um, I need to reorganize this again. I'm going to put like chariots first, I think. And then I'll put like light infantry on the kind of second line. And then I'll put like a flank size of two because I don't have enough like units to like do a full like massive flank size. Um... Right, let's get you fellas all the way up here. Right? Let's get you ready to strike. Now, they've got a few men there. What is my guy? He's got six marshal. It's not that bad, actually. I would like a fort here, to be honest, before I go. And I think that could be the best thing to do. I might get a fort before I strike. Let's, kill, let, them, let's let them fight it out a little bit longer. Why not? So we'll get a fort up on this, on Petraea. It does stop. What level fort is this? It's got level 2 forts. So that's quite a bit, actually. 
Um, well, I think I could just bring in the Seleucids. I mean, do I really want to wait? I can bring in this dude. I think it is the best course of action. I'm going to make a bit of gold. So I could hire mercs if I needed to, but I don't think I will. I think the Seleucids is like more than enough to help us. So let's do this. Let's get a little bit of a war going. I do want to occupy this. So let's do it. I'll bring in the Seleucids. They've got a border here. They have some men. I know they're going to bring them out here, which is going to be fine. So yeah, there's nothing really to worry about. So we're going against Pontus and Coconia and Paphagonia. So let's do this. Let's go. Let's rise. Let's rise to the challenge. Let's kill them. Let's do this. It's time. I know I don't have much stability in that, but we're not going to gain that much aggressive expansion for doing this. So I just need to go and march over here now. We're going to march on this guy. We'll take him out. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. We've got the Salukas joining us on this fight. So when I go and try and wipe these guys out, we'll kind of get them by the split. And it shouldn't be too hard to do. Yeah, see, they're, they're coming in to help us out. And of course, we're declaring for this, so they're going to transfer this to us because we have claim on the damn thing. So, um... so let's actually allow attachments, right? Let's go in here and I want to see where this guy's going. Maybe, I know what, I'm going to let him siege it down, and I want to take these guys out before they do... Oh god, no. Why are you moving, buddy? No, you actually siege that down. No, I'll siege it down, screw it. Alright, I'll stay with you. I'll stay with you. I'll let this guy go and, like, run kill the others. I think he's going to go and attack the others for us. It should be fine. He's got heavy infantry and war elephants, for god's sake, so... Anyway, tribal people request migration. A sizable quantity of tribal people resident in the settlement of Pufagena have requested permission to the local administrative officers to cross the border into land owned by Anova Armenia. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of these tribals. It gives us 71 gold and we get rid of four tribesmen, so yeah, why not? Why not indeed? Okay, they're attacking. There's another retreating on us here, which is interesting, but they're dead. Um, fine, he's taken this now, but I think my Seleucid friend is going to smash him for me, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Alright, another Olympiad. Who do we send? The Archigrammatus or this guy? I'm not sending the Archigrammatus because he's in position in government, so I'll send the other guy. None of them would win anyway because they're both not very good. Um, oh, I just want the Seleucid to beat him here and then occupy this back for me, buddy. I'm going to need it. So if you wouldn't mind doing that for me, that would be quite nice. Anyway, let's get another an idea slot here. And I don't have any subject states. Um, I think I'm going to go for the origin myth here, just so I can get the extra national slave output. It just gives our ruler a little bit of extra popularity per month, and considering we are influencing, which loses popularity per month, it should offset the balance quite nicely, so, so why not? Um, can you occupy this for me, buddy, please? I really would appreciate it. Thank you. Just to get my land back, I would like that to happen. Thank you, my friend. There we go. But I'm minus 35% here. This is all fine. I have a little bit of gold, so we might as well get building some extra stuff here. So let's go into our capital. And let's build. So what do I want? What are our pops like here? They're not very happy, are they? Well, they're very happy. So they contribute quite a bit of unrest. So why are you peed off, buddy? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Negative stability is the main killer. Well, that is normal. Um, it's not really that much of a problem. Once we kind of stabilize and get our stability rising, it's not going to be too much of an issue. So let's go for... Let's go for, let's go for, let's go for... I want, like, local research points... Not yet. So I reckon we can bang on a another academy. Let's get another academy on. What about down here as well? Here I can get another academy also. It would work for us. Um, pop output Y. What's this? Minus 20%? Oh, because dominant culture is not integrated culture. But that is being integrated, so of course it's not going to be a problem. Right, this has all been occupied back by the Seleucid. Thank you, buddy. So I'm going to take back control of our land. Fantastic. Um, I mean, I don't want to go for everything here. I just want this province, I think. I don't really want everything else. We didn't win the Olympics, but that was kind of obvious. Armenia's expanded quite nicely, to be honest. They're quite big now. Um, going to have to deal with them. They're right on our border. I might try and take as much as I can, because then I can allow me to push over towards the coast here. And these are, there are some Greek pops here that I could integrate, and then of course, with like Greek pops, we can levy heavy infantry now. You go into the pops here, and let's say if you pops, and you hover over like the culture, you can see what type of levies you can get from them. So these Pontic pops, we have 40% chance to get heavy infantry, 50% chance to get light infantry, and 10% archers. A bit of heavy infantry and levies would be very nice indeed, and it might be worth integrating them for that. So, yeah, check, do check the cultures you're integrating to see what you can levy. It is quite interesting. 
Um, army mutinies. So the acceptance of Kationian recruits within the army has taken a turn for the worse, where initially the biggest problems were lack of discipline and morale. Now outright mutinies have begun to emerge. The men refuse to fight alongside those they consider to be barbarians, foreigners and enemies. Their anger, fueled by hurt pride and supported by some prominent and vocal leaders, is no longer directed only at the supposed Kationian brothers in arms. Okay, so the government. So what do I do here? The experiment has gone on long enough. I lose integration progress. I carve out the heart of the mutiny. Oh god, or an example must be made of the leaders. So what happened here? I can silence the mutineer leaders so the Macedonian culture gains, uh, loses culture and happiness, but I don't really have many Macedonian pops. Oh god, I die. I mean, Tass die? I'm not going to let my guy die. Have you got any children yet, buddy? He's like had no children. Why? Why do I have no child? So I'm not going to die. What I'm going to do, I'm going to carve out the heart of the mutiny. So I'll take a little bit of damage to my men. I'm only going to lose a little bit of manpower, but it's not much of a problem because we have the Seleucid sieging with us. The most annoying thing here, though, is that my wife is really not popping out any kids. And why? Why, why, why? You're 31 and you need to bang out a child. Are my heirs... Hyperlene, well, he is, so that is not too much of a problem. You're Hellenic, though. Can I force convert you? I could if I could bribe you. I suppose I could force convert some of the guys. You're Hellenic as well. We're going to need to pay attention because, yeah, I didn't... I don't want to waste... Two, I didn't want to waste 200 PI because I spent 200 on kind of converting my ruler. If he dies and the next, like, successor doesn't really, how to put it, have the required, like, religion, then we're pretty screwed, because it means I've wasted 200 PI for no reason. Um, how old are you, buddy? 36. We need to get you a wife. Can I get you a wife? No, I can't. Why? Why can't I get you to marry? Well, that's interesting. Okay, so at least I looks like I can't get you to marry. I just hope that the wife pops out the child as quickly as possible. I don't want to take all this. I suppose I could, could give me a border with Macedon. So I suppose in upcoming wars, I could potentially take land off them. I mean, I could also wipe out Pontus. I'm very tempted to try and take all this, to be honest. It is very, very tempting indeed. We shall see. We shall see. We'll just see how it goes. I've still got a little bit of gold here. I am going to build a fort on here, I think, now. Oh, I need 90 gold for that. So I'll wait next month and then we'll get one. Just to kind of stop the enemies occupying our land. Do I have enough food? I do have enough food for the moment because we do have a supply chain in there. So that is like fine. Still minus 35%. No, still 35%, not minus 35%. Right, I'm going to get a fort on that one there. Kind of lock it down a little bit. It would be nice. We are gaining stability a bit. The culture is nearly integrated, which means I could potentially raise more. We shall see once it's done anyway. Bigger levies mean more men, which means bigger kind of prowess in battle. We can, like, deal more men. Have you done yet? Nearly 97%. I do want to keep an eye on this, and I will check as soon as it's changed. Okay, the sacking of Ankira. So, I'm not going to kill them all. Actually, they're Persian nobles. Are they Persian nobles? Do you want to ransack them? Yeah, it is going to give us gold. So, yeah, let's ransack it. Why not? Screw it. It's nice to ransack stuff. Um, let's now go and help this guy over here. Actually, no, let's go and occupy that province capital there. Just a little bit of land there, but I'll just take it anyway. Might as well. Oh, by the way, have they integrated now? Oh, nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly indeed. Okay, so he has occupied this. Hopefully, he'll transfer it to me. I really... Yes, he's transferred it to me. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. Well done, Salukid. Uh, so, right, we've integrated these guys now, which should help with our tech as well, because the cities of the culture in question, so let's go and check it out, down here, and I know I have a few in this area, we have this one, and I could potentially get another one over here somewhere, and I've got, oh, I have got one there. So here, there, and here, I think. Now, I've got two cities, of course, this one and this one, and that's it. And now... These should be integrated, which means we should start getting citizens out of them pots. But also, the most important thing now is I should be able to get a few more men. 
Um, I'm hoping once I disband them, we should be able to raise a few more levies. It's what I hope so. If not, then I'm totally wrong, and it's maybe one integrated culture per region. I don't know. It's going to be good to try and find out anyway. So we've got you dealing with him down there. We're going to go and take this pretty quickly. That is dealt with. I do want to push to the coast as quickly as possible because um, it does allow me then to probably take on what is like is uh, which is Sinope and all the other little Greek pops. I mean, there's a lot of, are these all Pontic? Yeah, they are Pontic, and I do want to integrate the Pontics because it would allow me to raise some pretty decent kind of troops. So we're going to do that. I'd also like to sacrifice a pig, but that can't be done at the moment. But now, I have a little bit of PI, which means we are going to swap some things over in our city. Now, if you go here, we have no more incoming migration, because I think we've pulled out a lot of the remaining tribals. Um, so, yeah, there's not really that many left there now. They're all pulled into our city. Um, so, what I want to do now is pop this onto social mobility. This is going to help speed up the promotion of the pops. So, if I go to the pops info, we should see for promotion now. Look at the speed, plus 14.27% to promote them. And these are demoting into what slaves? So, yeah, we're going to be getting rid of these tribals. So, what we have in cities... Now, for those who don't know, just kind of a quick kind of breakdown of, like, cities and stuff. Um, and their pops. So, you have... Each, like, kind of city has a certain amount of, like, kind of ratios for pop types. So, you have four pop types in the city. You have a... Kind of desired ratio in each one so as you can see the bottom numbers is the desired ratio of the city and the top numbers are the actual ratio so what is happening is if your bottom number is kind of lower than the top number it means that the ratio isn't filled out and what the game will do is we'll start promoting pops to hit that threshold so the, for example here i have eight percent nobles in the city of um, azaka here what it will do it will start promoting pops into nobles from the other categories that are in surplus for example the tribesmen here there's too many of them we have an optimal ratio of zero percent we have 17 percent so it will demote some slaves is the same we have 28 percent of slaves but the optimal ratio for the city is 16 so it will demote them same for freemen is 31 percent the optimal ratio is 30 percent so it will demote them and at the pops this demoting or promoting is going to get rid of them and turn them into like citizens and nobles because these are the categories that we need that we don't like fill out the actual kind of ratio so that's how it works so here we are we're promoting some freemen here into what we're promoting a freeman into what um Promoting, let me just see this. Every month, Ibrahim Freeman will be promoted to a citizen. Here we go. So, promoting one of the Freeman to a citizen. So, you can see it will get rid of, probably go down to like maybe 28%, 29%, and then it would up the like percentage of the citizen here. Same for the tribals. It's demoting a tribesman into a slave. So, it will get rid of a percentage of tribals here, but it would augment the percentage of slaves. So we have too much, and then the slaves, of course, will be promoting to the other categories that need. So, that's how it basically works. You can increase like the ratios through buildings and stuff. So, as we've been doing with academies and not academy, yeah, academies and court of lords, which increases the desired ratio amount for nobles and citizens. But you can do the same with other pops, like forums for freemen and mills for slaves. So, it's kind of how you really want to design your cities. So, worth noting. But anyway, enough of the kind of quick tutorial session. Let's get back to the game. Oh yeah, I wanted to change the um, other one, didn't I? I completely forgot. So we've got you on social mobility. I don't think we're... Oh, we have a little bit of migration here still, so I'm going to leave that. Here we have basically none. I have one slave migrating, so... Yeah, it's not really going to do anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this. And again, I'm going to pop this on social mobility now. Get them promoted into the desired pop. And that is cool. Right, now we've got the 6,000 men moving over here. We'll just eat up what's left of Pontus. I might as well just eat it all up. There's no reason why I can't do it. What region is it in, by the way? Um, so this is in Phrygia. I own this region. We've got a little bit of Bithynia and Paphlagonia. I think that's what it's called. So we're going to take that as well. No reason why we can't. Anyway, let's go and take down his capital here. We'll occupy that. The Saluk is taking this for us. All nice. Uh, he's also going to occupy this for us as well, I think. Are you going to transfer this to me, buddy? Please do. Oh, you are beautiful, my friend. You are beautiful. Hello, kid. Mm -mm. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend, bud. So we're going to finish this guy off. He's going to be dead. Bim, bam, boom. I have quite a bit of gold, actually, so let's keep spending it. Um, now, since these guys are integrated, I could definitely do something. Now, we have one city here and one city here, I think. And I think this is the... Can yep, this is the culture we integrated. So... What are the surrounding areas like? We don't really have that many tribals, to be honest. I think we've like kind of pulled them all out. Apart from here, where we have a few, but I don't know why there's so many in that settlement, and here as well. Do we have any incoming migration? Not really. What about in this one? Do I have any incoming migration? Aha! Here I have quite a bit of incoming migration. So what I'm going to do, I'll change the policies here when we can. I'll put it on the same principle over here. We'll bring it to centralised departments. We'll try and pull them in. 
that would work. Uh, what's our ratio now, by the way? We're only we're down to 10.85%. Hmm. How come? How come? I hum. I think it's low stability, maybe? Or maybe it's because I've integrated some pops, and of course we... Because it's only the integrated pops that make your tech, so... I mean, there's a lot of slaves in this integrated pops. So it's going to take a lot of time to promote them. So that's probably why it's gone down. But in the long run, it will be fine. But we're beating this guy out. We beat him. Easy. He's dead. We stack wiped him. Fairly easy. Um, we'll just occupy this, then this, and then we'll peace out. And then we'll try to administer what we've got. I've got another trade route. How much food do I have? A lot. Now, in order to speed up things, I could have a surplus of livestock, which would increase pop promotion speed by 25%. And we're going to get a... Yeah, we're going to get some livestock here. And then I'm very tempted to import something else. I uh, get some more livestock. So if I went to my trade now, where's my trade? Trade, trade, trade. I can never remember where it is. Here it is. Um, what am I importing? I want my imports. Spices, earthenware, livestock, precious metals. Precious metals increase my happiness of my citizens. Spices increase my citizen output. Hmm. Well... I'm not going to change anything. What's going to happen is when we promote more pops to nobles, we should technically um, get some more trade routes because nobles and citizens they like kind of increase the number of trade routes. So we should get more. Um, here, non shell hide, I think. Yeah, non shell hide. We'll ransack it. It's extra gold. It's good. It's like useful. Um, and now I can just like pretty much kind of yeah. We'll go down here. We'll take this last little kind of province capital here. This last bastion. Doesn't take too long. But anyway, let's go back to building some stuff here in the areas where we can. So here I want to go for another court of law, I think. I mean, I could go for a marketplace, maybe, for some extra base trade routes. Now, how much do I make in, like, trade routes here? It was 2.5%, so it would increase this by 2.5%. Now, the amount of trade routes you make here is based on citizens and nobles. So, plus, like, each, the more citizens and nobles you have, then the more... Um, or trade routes you can have. So what it does in the province to make the number of trade routes that you have here. Um, so your capital has always has trading permits, which gives you plus two no matter what. So that's pretty nice. And of course, then you've got your regional power status, which gives you plus one. And then it increases as you kind of increase your power ranking. Um, and then you have the number from pops. So as you can see at the moment, our pops give us plus one trade route. So what it's doing is in this province here, it's adding every... Now, uh, where is it? So it's, what it's doing is adding, if there's any trade route points here. It's adding them all together. So it's adding 0 0.03 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.03 plus another 0 0.03 plus 0 0.93 uh, plus 0 0.02 and you get the round number of one and of course this is where you get the plus one from pots. If you increase your nobles and citizens then you increase your points of trade routes and then of course that means you get um, more trade routes. That's pretty much how it works. Now I'm very tempted to try building a marketplace to see if this increases it a little bit. Now it is 2.5%. It's not much but it might be something. It does increase pop assimilation speed. Are we assimilating pops? A little bit. A little bit, a little bit. It would be nice to get a little bit more Macedonian pops going. So I, I think I might be able to. Let's try it out. Let's go for a small marketplace. We can always see. I just need to make a mental note. 0.93 and we'll see how much it increases it by. I mean, it's only 2.5%, so it shouldn't be that much. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We might as well try it. Um, I think I'll go for another... Hmm, do I want to go for another court law? I don't know. What are the ratios here? Yeah, I suppose I can go for another court law. Let's go for another court law. Court law there. We'll take that on. That's pretty nice. Now, uh, what about over here? What have I got in this area? Now, here I don't really make that many. Um, so we've got 0 0.42, 0 0.03, 0.03... Yeah, we basically don't make enough points. So it's pointless building the marketplace here because we're never going to get it above one. We need like loads of marketplaces for that. I need to get more nobles out of this place first. So let's go for... How many pops do I have in here? 31 out of 43. Let's bang on another academy. And then we'll do another live. We'll keep doing it like that. I do try to pay attention to what I'm doing. And I do try to explain to you guys exactly what I'm doing. I hope it actually helps you when you try and make decisions and helps you understand the game a little bit more. Um, I may not always be right, but I do try to explain my logic behind what I do. Um, are you not going to hand that to me, Salukin? Come on, buddy. I know you want to. Maybe not. Maybe you want to see... I mean, oh, I can't blame him for not wanting to hand everything to me. I mean, it is understandable. He already has handed a massive chunk of land for us. So, we'll see. Maybe once he occupies this here, he's going to hand it to me. Um, 
Like Antonian power militias cancel militia access, so they must have finished their war down here, which is interesting. Um, I wonder how much aggressive expansion I'm going to get for this. I honestly don't know. What? Another good question is, what is my Diplo stance? I'm on a neutral stance at the moment. I want to change this. I'm definitely going to change this when I can. That's going to be the next thing I'm going to save up my PI for. Um, actually, no. Um, I'm not going to save it up just yet for that. But what I am going to do here, though, is... And I completely forgot to do this. So we're migrating. Yeah, pops are migrating in here. So what we need to do is definitely bang this on. Da -da -da -da. Loyalty is rising here, which is quite nice. Uh, we'll bang it on centralize the pops. So bring you all in. Thank you. And now it should really sped things up. There we go. 4%, 5%. Blah, blah, blah. All good stuff. Thank you very much, bud. Um, what about in here? Yeah, I have a little bit of pops migrating. Um, I probably don't even... I probably don't need to here because there's not really that many outside of this place. Unless are these migrating outwards. Yeah, they're migrating pretty quickly. I could build here to help speed things up. I could build a... What's it called? Especially for this place. Yeah, I could build a settlement building. Um, a provincial legation building. Now, these things do speed up pop migration speed by 75%, but they cost a lot of gold. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. We'll see. I'll save up the PI for it, and then we'll see what I can do. I mean, really, why, why not? I've just realised something, and I completely forgot this. I've got to put back my mouse scrolling on. I just realized because um, what I do when of course when I make my kind of tutorial videos and guides and stuff I do make it on debug mode so for those wondering how I manage to do like some pretty cool pan shots uh, like with an even movement stuff I do it in the debug mode and I just put a gamepad in so then you just open the console command and then you just type gamepad in the console command and then you can use your gamepad and you can move it around and you can make some pretty cool shots with it I have to say um, he's transferred that to me I'm going to transfer this section buddy minor addendum Oh, 6 stability for 10 PI. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that. Yeah, I'm going to take it. I'll go into, like, negative PI, but I don't really care there. I just like the extra stability. So, yeah, you can make some pretty cool shots with it. Um, he's not going to transfer me this, is he? I don't think he is. Bonus conspire. The plebs are stirring as they're getting support from the Hellenic major power of the Seleucid Empire. What? What are they doing? What the hell? Oh, we have conflicting interests now. So I don't think we're going to be buddies with these guys for long. So he's not going to hand that to me, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to sue for peace. And I'm going to take what I want. I'm not going to hand anything to the Salukid. And he can, like, literally go and do one. Um, 18 aggressive expansion for this, actually. It's quite a lot. Um, 23 aggressive expansion. That's not that bad, actually. Really. And I get to finish off, like, every last little bit here. And I think that works pretty well for me. It does allow us to go a little bit bigger, so... Hmm, I am going to, like... Do I want to take all this? Yeah, I do. Screw it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, anyway, the Paphlagonian Elite. What, I do, what do I do with these guys? Good question. I've got Paphlagonian and Pontic Elite. Now, the Pontic Elite are what? What are the Pontic Pops like? And Pontus. I think they were... the Paphlagonian. Um, I can imprison the leaders and let the rest disappear. I can banish those of class. And put the rest of the sword. How much... How many Pops do I have now as of, like, Paphlagonian type of Pops? I mean, how many are they? Oh, it's not taking it into account yet. I have to wait till the end of the bloody month. Let's get the aggressive expansion down by one point. I'll banish them. And then I'll banish these guys. Okay, and then we should see how much we've got. I've actually finished a mission now, which is pretty cool. Control this. And what does that give me? Good question. Why isn't it telling me what I've got? I gained 15 pops in Ankira are assimilated to Macedonian culture. That is pretty cool. Where is Ankira? It is here. Ooh, I like that. I, I do like that. I really do. Um, and I think I'm going to take it. Yeah, let's take it. I'll have that. Convert this place now. 
And I lose some aggressive expansion for this because the dominant religion is my religion, Cybeline, and I own it. So we're going to lose a bit of aggressive expansion, but that's pretty cool. So basically, I've lost like 3.5 aggressive expansion of banishing them and doing all that. So that's pretty cool. Um, can I do anything else? No, I can't. That's the last of the goddamn missions. And um, I think it's time for me to take a break here, people. What I'll do off camera, I'm going to have a quick look around to see what we've actually got and see what I can do. Um, we have expanded quite nicely now. I'm happy with this. This is fairly cool. And I'll see what I can do. See if I can get rid of some forts. See if I can like move some permanent capitals around. See if I can get some extra buildings and all sorts of different things. Um, but anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed things, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see some more Imperial Rome content, then please consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thank you for being here, and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.